Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to spawn some shapes on our screen using Belly. In this process, we're going to learn meshes, materials, Belly transforms, and Belly resources. To make a rectangle, we're going to use the Material Mesh 2D bundle, which Belly provides. This is present in the sprite module. This struct majorly has three fields which we will learn about today. First, we would learn what a mesh is. Then we would understand materials. And then learn about transforms. Mesh defines the shape or the outline of an object. They can be a list of vertices. The vertices together form a polygon, which is the mesh. Meshes can also be formed from a set of triangles. These four triangles together form a hexagon. In 3D objects, they can be represented by a list of vertices, edges, faces, etc. Meshes are what gives game objects shape. Material is a way of applying a color, a texture, a group of layered textures, or an image on top of a mesh. The concept of material is not specific to Bevy. We can see here in Blender that we can add a material to an object. The material has color, how metallic it is, its roughness, and a bunch of other configurations. Materials are stored as handles to assets in Bevy. Handle is basically a pointer to assets. Assets are any images, sounds, scenes, scripts, that you import in your game. Transform is the X and Y coordinate of your object. You can change the location of your object by changing the transform. Resources are a type that can be inserted into the world as a single term. What that means is, if you want to insert a sound into your game, or use an image as a texture or a sprite, you only need to load it once into your game. You don't need multiple copies of the same sound. So for assets like these, we use resources. Let's get into the code. This is where we left off last time. So let's spawn a material mesh 2D bundle. As parameters, we need the resource containing all the meshes. Rest mute represents a resource which is mutable. So this variable would have all the mesh resources in it. Similarly, we need all the resources which have the color material assets.
Let's try changing the translation. The rectangle should be lower now. Let's try increasing it. There, it has moved upwards. That's all for today guys. Thanks for watching.